everyone welcome back to Shay's kitchen today we are making something that is simple and is quick um, I have been trying to come up with different meatless meals than the ones I'm used to cooking and using other things so stay tuned to some of those meals coming today we are making one of those meals I've been kind of messing around a little bit with mushrooms I really don't eat mushrooms um I've never tried to cook them on my own to how I like them. My godmother, when she would make German meals, she always had mushrooms in them. But I could never taste them. Like, I could never taste them. So, it gave me an idea with all this meat being so high to be able to make meat substitutes with mushrooms. And so, that's what we're going to make today. Today, we are going to make some mushroom fajitas. We are going to work together on this. Um, I have run a couple trials and tests on them to see how everything is going to be and i think you guys are really going to like this recipe let me show you what we have okay so right off the bat you guys see our mushrooms i marinated them overnight in some worcestershire some teriyaki and some soy sauce we have our bell peppers and onions we have the orange red and yellow bell pepper with some onion we have our Slap Your Mama, some garlic, some onion, some lemon pepper, pepper, and some parsley. You know, we got to make it look party. And we have a little brown sugar to ease all the tension of the sauces. So let's get it put together, fam. Okay, guys. So we have this on medium high heat. Um, I put about... Uh, two tablespoons of oil in the pan i'm not going to crowd it when it comes time to putting our mushrooms in there so what we are going to do is just let this go for a few seconds get it to the right temperature and we're going to put the mushrooms in okay so what i am going to do is take my mushrooms here we are going to save this juice I like to look at other people's stuff and get my own ideas out of it and twist and turns, and that's what you guys can do with this also. Okay. Okay, let that juice pour out of there. Okay. Let them sit out here so it's easier to put in the pan. Okay, now move this to the side. So, these are our mushrooms. And we are getting ready now to bring them over and put them in the pan. Okay, so I'm not going to do all these mushrooms because I just want to do enough for the recipe to show you guys. Okay. And the one thing I do not want to do is overcrowd these. I want them to get a nice sear on each side. And then we are going to flip them. Now, if you want to, and um, you can use the big portobello mushrooms because that's what these are, and cut them into strips. I said it's pretty much uh, going to be about the same size I would cut them in, so I said I'm just going to use these. I want them to get a nice char on this side before I touch them. And then we are going to flip them. I want these to go for about a minute and a half. 
Okay, we are going to flip these. So the one thing I did learn about cooking mushrooms is that you want to have it on a high heat so that you can cook out. Um, you want to get the sizzle. You want it to be able to cook out as much water so that the, it's not cooking in water. I'll get that one flip out. What are we doing good? There we go. Okay. Okay, guys. And I'm not going to let them cook the full amount on that side. I'm going to go ahead and bring these in here. Now, it will reduce some of the temperature in here. But I want to make sure that they are crispy and well done. Ain't nothing like, and I do mean nothing like the smell of some bell peppers and onions and some garlic. Okay. And I did turn it uh, down to medium, medium. Y'all see it jumping, it's still hot. Ooh, that garlic is mmm, mmm, mmm. Our garlic is starting to brown. When you see your garlic browning, that's when you know we're going to pour in a little juice. That we had saved from our mushrooms that they marinated in. I'm going to pour in about two tablespoons. Okay, now we are going to season. Slap your mama once again. Don't do it and say, I told you to do it. And I'm not putting a lot on there. Oh, I got a new onion I forgot to open. There we go. Little lemon pepper. Oh, got another new one. Some parsley. Okay. And our pepper. Okay. Gotta run away. Y'all, yeah, this smells so awesome. Like for real. Okay. I'm gonna pour in about two more tablespoons. And I'm going to come back with a little brown sugar. And kind of how we had, um, you could do your steak bites and your, your sauces and you 
um, beef tips. Those are the, the best. And when you're doing your sauces, putting a little brown sugar in there. I'm going to cut that onion up a little bit. Okay, guys. Now I'm going to turn this back up to medium high. And we are going to be stirring this into it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is cover this and let this go about three minutes. Okay, guys. This is the finished project right here. Mushroom fajitas. As high as this meat is, guys, we can make substitutes, and I do have more coming just to make pretty. Put a little bit of parsley right there on top, or you can put a little, um, some chives on top if you want to. Guys, this right here recipe, I am a firm believer in some mushrooms because I wanted to make something different besides just making my regular meals and not putting meat in them. But the meat substitute is delicious. If you want tomatoes in this, you could put tomatoes in this. Literally, whatever you would like to eat, guys. But this right here, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let me bless it. Y'all can't even see. Oh, it, it ain't even showing no justice how beautiful this looks. It is hot, as you guys can see with the steam. It is hot. I love, I want a bottle of everything in there. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry guys, this is so good. Get you some Shay's mushroom fajitas. The meat substitute, it does everything that you need. And I do mean everything. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video because that is one that I have been trying to do a little, you know, test on it to make sure I could get it exactly how I like it to present it to you guys. It is so good, guys. It is the flavors and the taste. And for us, we need flavor. We need to taste something we need to know there's no meat in there. It needs to be fulfilling. We don't need to be hungry when we get through. That is a great lunch, guys. If you want to make it a supper, put you some rice and some beans on the side, and you are good. You are so good, so good. Like I'm so excited about this. I do not do mushrooms, but I found a way where I could. Anything I say I can't eat, I always find a way where I can't eat it. So, I'm going to let you guys go. I want you guys to tell me what do you think of this recipe. Try it out. Let me know. Also, share this video. Anytime that you see a video and it stands out to you and you're like, oh, I need to make that. Let somebody else see because they may feel the same way. I'm not going to hold you guys up. I'm going to let you go. But until the next video, what are we going to do? Stay cool with Shay's Kitchen. Bye, family.